I don't want you to just think. Marketing is a way of brainwashing people into buying a product. I want you to build skills in this class. As you may know, I have a small business, several small businesses, YouTube channels, websites. Your generation is going to have to think entrepreneurially. Being that there are so many small businesses out there and more popping up every day, how do you draw attention to your business? You build skills. That's what this lesson is about. You're going to learn stop motion animation. In marketing class? Yes, in marketing class. Let's take a look at a stop motion advertisement. And I'm going to teach you how to do stop motion animation. That was me last year. I was so young. Here's what you need to know today and what you got to do. There is a app called O-Snap. O-S-N-A-P. And it should be available for iPhone. It should be available for uh, non-iPhone, Android, whatever they call it these days. I need you to download that. The free version should be absolutely fine. And uh, the limit to the free version is you can't export. You should be able to shoot and you should be able to show me uh, what you got, but you're not gonna be able to export it as a video. It's like $2 for the app. It might be worth getting it if you like it. If you don't, you know, just get the grade today and uh, learn something and you can delete it afterwards. But it's a really quality app because it teaches you something called onion skin stop motion animation. Now I'm going to show you how to use it. When you open the app, uh, you're going to hit either the plus sign and a new project. It might be prompted just new project. And you're going to click start shooting. I recommend that you do it the, uh, the long way instead of the tall way. Now notice the thing in the upper right hand corner. It's like a target. What you're going to do is you're going to hit the target and then you're gonna see a picture for an onion. We're gonna animate a water bottle. Just because I did a water bottle doesn't mean that you have to do a water bottle. Just trust the process. So anyway, look at that thing right next to the camera. There we go, hit that. Now you see the onion, I clicked on the onion. Watch what this does. I snap a picture and watch this snap oh look at that we can see the previous picture so we're going to line it up and then we're going to make a change and then we're going to snap another picture line it up make a change snap another picture line it up make a change snap another picture line it up make a change snap another picture line it up make a change snap another picture line it up make a change snap another picture rolling water bottle geez snap another picture and this should be the last one okay now I'm gonna hit the arrow to go back and then I'm gonna press play and watch what happens. Oh snap! Why do you think they call it oh snap? Oh, we have a spinning water bottle. How do you like that? So that is your 
trial. You know, that, that's what you're getting graded on, but we're hoping to take it to another level. Now I'm going to show you a stop motion movie that I did with a bunch of middle schoolers. The plot, oh my goodness, the plot is out there, but we sure had a lot of fun doing it. I'm going to link to that video that I did uh, with my former students who are now probably pushing 30. Uh, but uh, what you're getting graded on today is you want to do a good stop motion animation. It has to flow. It has to be clear. And I want you to keep trying until you get it right. Yes, there's going to be a learning curve. No doubt about that. But this is a skill to master. And I want to show you that this is like the high renaissance of stop motion animation. Check this out. Thank you. 